A Dallas activist and writer whose criminal case attracted national attention was sentenced to prison today. Barrett Brown received five years in prison for his role for the hacking group Anonymous and for threatening the life of an FBI agent. Fox Wars' Natalie Solis at the federal courthouse in downtown Dallas. Well, Clarice, cameras are not allowed inside federal court, but I can tell you that Brown sat there in a bright yellow prison jumpsuit. His mother and his relatives sat behind him in the gallery. And despite being uh, behind bars for about two and a half years since his uh, arrest, he has continued writing. He's continued to have a very loyal following. And many of those people showed up today for court. The fact that my complaint, my original complaint about the FBI, September 2012, Barrett Brown on a rant against an FBI agent after his home was raided. In the YouTube post, he promises to ruin the agent's life for investigating his role with the hacking group Anonymous. Brown was eventually charged with obstructing a search warrant, making internet threats, and helping share a link to stolen data allegedly obtained by the hackers. In court, Brown said he regretted his actions, then went on to criticize how the government pursued his case. Judge Sam Lindsay weighed the charges. He seemed far more concerned about the threats that Mr. Brown made, and he gave a sentence to reflect that. Despite his incarceration after his arrest, Brown maintained a large following and continued writing. Today did not go how we had hoped. Kevin Gallagher started FreeBarrettBrown.org. He and others hoped Brown would get a sentence for time served for the 31 months already behind bars. Barrett Brown is someone I admire uh, as a writer, as a journalist, and I saw something that needed to be done. I was just compelled to do it, to support him, run his, his legal defense fund and jail support, uh, because somebody had to do it. The only person to speak on Brown's behalf, Tim Rogers, senior writer and former editor of D Magazine. Brown wrote for the magazine while in jail. Rogers called Brown a legit journalist. And that has a lot of importance for Brown's attorneys, who argued Brown operating as a journalist merely posted a link which happened to contain stolen data, and he shouldn't be punished for it. Being held accountable for what's behind a link when what you're posting to is a link that's publicly available and you don't, you haven't even had a chance to look at what's in it, that that is going to chill um, journalistic efforts. It's going to create problems for researchers. All right, well, initially, Brown faced many more charges, which uh, would have basically meant a life sentence, but most of those charges, nearly all of them thrown out, except for the three counts that he was sentenced for today. With time served, Brown's sentence is reduced to two years and eight months. He was also ordered to pay $890,000 in restitution.